Marketing truths, three things to tease. Good morning, my name is Andrew Hoglum with Direct Business Marketing, and today we're gonna to talk about uh, another one of our marketing truths. This one is entitled, uh, Three Things to Tease. Uh, so quickly we'll show you our marketing truth diagram. Marketing truths are things that we kind of hold near and dear to our heart and have found that as long as we wash all of our marketing, whether it be print marketing, online marketing, um, paid marketing, advertising in magazines, etc. Through these marketing truths, our success rate goes up and up and up. So uh, today we're going to talk about three things to tease. And this um, is specifically has to do with uh, a call to action. And the type of marketing that we do here at Direct Business Marketing is called direct response marketing. And with direct response marketing, we're looking to have um, the prospect do some sort of action as acknowledgement that they're interested in uh, our products or services. Um, so uh, when we talk about teasing, we're looking to get a call to action in place. Um, so in different, uh, different verticals and for different products, you're gonna have different calls to action. But when you're developing your call to action, you wanna keep kind of these three things in mind, that every client or every prospect is looking for three uh, th these three basic things. The first thing they're looking for is value added in advance. Okay, they're looking for value in advance. They're looking for, you know, everybody's looking for something for nothing, basically. Um, and so if you can provide value in advance, whether that's uh, in the form of information or um, soft offer, or even, you know, if you have a product, a hard widget, you know, maybe there's a free trial or something that you can provide value in advance. Okay, the next thing they're looking for um, is an adequate solution. So um, most products or services with small businesses, um, you know, they have a problem and they're looking for a solution. Now the solution could be, you know, uh, for a restaurant, for example, hey, I'm, I'm hungry, so I'm looking for a solution to the problem that I'm hungry. Um, you know, and it could be all the way into service industries where, where you know, you have a more finite product and your clients are looking for uh, a solution to their problem. So everybody's looking for something for free and a solution to their problem. The other thing almost everybody's looking for is a trusted advisor. They're looking for someone that can advise them on uh, what they should do and what they shouldn't do. I mean, even in the restaurant industry, people say, hey, what's good here? You know, I'm looking for an advisor as to what, um, what we should eat. Um, or if you're in the service industry, you know, uh, your clients are looking for someone to advise them, not just you know uh, an order taker. They're looking for an advisor. So when you're constructing your marketing and you're constructing your call to action, you want to keep these things in mind. You want to keep uh, in mind that people are looking for something for nothing. Keep in mind that that your prospects are looking for an adequate solution to their problem and they're looking for a trusted advisor. As long as you keep these things in mind, your call to action is going to be that much. Uh, uh, more effective and going to convert uh, at a higher rate. Um, so again, uh, my name is Andrew Hoglum. Here's my contact information. Um, join us every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time for these kind of marketing minutes, these free webinars. Uh, and also keep in mind that at directbusinessmarketing.com slash MA, we have our uh, our questionnaire, marketing questionnaire to help you choose what marketing uh, is best for you. So if you haven't downloaded that, go download that today. Um, again, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next week.